Well, we are down to the final eight teams in the National Football League playoffs as it is the divisional round. Hey, everyone, welcome into yet another NFL breakdown. Rob Wong joined alongside by NFL columnist John Crick. And, John, what a wild card weekend it was. Uh, some amazing comebacks, some teams hanging on for dear life to pick up a victory. But now we move on to the next round. And got to begin with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, who, uh, as I mentioned, had that incredible comeback with that win over the Chargers, looking to take that momentum in to Kansas City. The Chiefs come in as eight-and-a-half-point favorites. Clearly not the script that uh, Trevor Lawrence and company want to follow yet again, but I guess a, a win would be a win. Who do you like in this one? Got to take Kansas City. They've had all these playoff games in the last few years, and they seem to pull them all out. Uh, even, you know, they've fallen behind big against Tennessee a couple of years ago. Uh, the two wins against Buffalo, somehow they pulled them out. They haven't lost at home since that overtime game in Mahomes' first year of starting. Uh, 2018, an overtime play, uh, a playoff game at home. And so there's no reason to think that these Jaguars, who lost at Kansas City earlier this season, Week 10, um, played pretty close by the end. But they have this young team. They have big gaps sometimes in their consistency. Of course, we saw it last week falling behind 27 nothing with the Chargers. So they can't put together, a if they can't put together almost a perfect game, I don't see them beating Kansas City. Take the Chiefs. So the Giants with a, an impressive road victory in Minnesota. Daniel Jones, uh, definitely one of the stars of that game. They are seven and a half point road underdogs heading to Philly in this NFC East divisional matchup. The uh, Eagles, of course, getting that first round by come in well rested. But um, considering what you saw last week from Daniel Jones, do you think uh, there might be a chance for the Giants or do you think Philly cruises in this one? Well, if, if Jones can play as well, which is probably the best performance of his career, four-year career uh, against Minnesota uh, last week. If he can do that again, yeah, they've got a good chance, I would say, the Giants, especially they are so well coached. And also, they are um, more talented than people kind of think, uh, especially defensively. That's, that's, that's a strong defense. But they've got to do that at Philadelphia. And Philadelphia is rested. Um, I thought they had the, the Giants number this year. Uh, in those games because they're, of course, NFC East rivals. And I think Jalen Hurts and the offense, even though, you know, he's still coming off that injury, uh, Jalen Hurts, um, can he and that offense pick it up, especially their run game against that stout Giants defense? I tend to think they will. And that, I mean, even though they're down a pass rusher, that Philadelphia Eagles front seven is good. And, and they're going to get after Jones. And Jones has shown in his career, maybe not lately, that, He'll make mistakes if he's pressured a lot. So you put all those things together. The fact that it's at Philly, they're rested. You have to take the Eagles, I think, if you're a betting person. Yeah, the Giants might well win. They're on a roll. But if you have to, if you have to make a bet, which is what this is all about, we're talking about here, uh, I think you have to take the Eagles. Let's talk about two teams that uh, had it a little bit tough last week, and the Buffalo Bills, of course, I think everyone expected them to just steamroll the Miami Dolphins, but uh, that was not the case. They did come away with the victory, and the Bengals had to hold on uh, right at the end there, uh, avoiding a late comeback by the Ravens. The Bills, four-and-a-half-point favorites in this one. Cincinnati, of course, the defending AFC champions. Uh, what did you see last week from both of these teams, and what do you think that will mean heading into the Sunday's game? In one way, yeah. The first inclination is to just trash both those games. They just had to win, both teams. They were probably looking past uh, their foes last week to this game, which they knew would come, both the Bengals and Bills in Buffalo. Titanic showdown of AFC. I mean, we have three fabulous teams in the AFC with their fabulous young quarterbacks. Um, we all knew this was coming, and so I just tend to maybe write off some things from last week. Here's, here are two things for each of those teams quickly that could be problems that might carry over the, the, the hero ball. Some people call it of Josh Allen, just making too many mistakes, uh, which though he only made once they got up 17, nothing uh, against the dolphins. So will that continue? That would be a problem for Buffalo and for Joe Burrow. He's now down, down three offensive line starters and the stats over the past two years show that when the offensive line can't protect Joe Burrow, yes, even in the playoffs last year, he can't be the Joe Burrow that we all have come to know. So uh, the Bills have a good enough pass rush, even without Von Miller, who's out for the year, that I think they'll make his life miserable. And that is be a factor uh, over all others that I'm looking at. That's why I take Buffalo. 
Finally, the Cowboys are three-point underdogs in the road in San Fran. Three points, the uh, amount of missed extra points from uh, Brett Maher last week. So uh, hopefully that won't be the difference in this one. But uh, two teams that did cruise to victory. San Fran looked really good uh, as well. Uh, what do you think about this matchup out west? San Francisco has won 11 straight. They're at home. Dallas can't put together. Go back and look at their record and go back and rewatch the games if you have that ability. They have not put together two performances anywhere close offensively to what uh, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys did just last Monday night at Tampa Bay. They have to do that again, I think, to be able to beat uh, the Niners. Yes, even with their rookie, uh, Mr. Irrelevant quarterback, Brock Purdy. Uh, we just haven't seen that. I mean, look at Dak Prescott. A week before the, 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 the win over Tampa Bay, they and Doc Prescott had probably their worst performance maybe in years, maybe the worst performance Prescott's ever had at Washington in the blowout loss. And then seven days later, eight days later, he's the best he's ever been. That type of consistency is not something that people who bet like to bet on. You don't go with the inconsistent, the something that isn't uh, that you can't now translate to the next week. Who knows what Cowboys team is going to show up? The one that scored 40 at Minnesota? or the one that got blown out by the commanders? No idea. And I guess the San Francisco team that is so solid, especially defensively, offensively with their play calling and their scheming and pretty playing so well, you have to take the Niners. Well, it was a great opening week for the NFL playoffs, and we'll see what the divisional round has in store. Don't forget, for all of John's divisional round picks, you can sign up for his Crick Slants newsletter, and you can find him on Twitter at John Crick.